happening now. The search for the suspect who shot and killed a canine officer after a carjacking continues. These are live pictures from Sky 4 in Anderson County. Right now, the search is centered around an area off New Prospect Church Road. And that is where we find WIFF News Force Mandy Gaither. She joins us now live and local with the latest. Mandy. Well, you can see this stolen car behind me. Take a look. It's the red one there on the other side of that mailbox. Deputies say a woman had it taken from her at gunpoint. Witnesses say the suspects drove here to New Prospect Church Road, ditched the car, and took off. There's an evidence marker I can see on the car, as well as one by a backpack on the ground. At this point, we're being told that one suspect has been captured. Two others are still out there. Now, I want to show you a picture now of Heiko, the canine officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty today. He died at Magnolia Veterinary Clinic uh, this afternoon. Heiko and his handler, Corporal Brandon Surratt, were responding to a call about a carjacking. That carjacking happened in the Dollar General parking lot in Townville. Anderson County Sheriff John Skipper says officers spotted the stolen car on Highway 24. There was a chase. The suspects, as I said earlier, ditched the car. And because officers believed the suspects had a gun, they sent Heiko in to try and find them. Here's what a witness says he heard and saw. But uh, we heard the sirens, and next thing we know, we looked, looked out the door, and there were police cars, sheriff's cars everywhere around. And uh, wasn't but, a, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds later, we heard the shots off in the woods. And I guess about five minutes later, they, they brought the dog out. Now, because of all of this, schools in the area were on lockdown as a precaution. That affected West Side, Lakeside, and New Prospect. And since New Prospect was closest to the scene, deputies and administrators actually had to escort students uh, to their buses and to cars after school. And back here live at the scene, we're continuing to look um, at the stolen car and officers here. They're continuing to search for those suspects, and we are going to bring you more information coming up tonight at 6. Andy Gaither, WYFF News 4, live in Anderson County.